In this topic, we are going to discuss the internationalization of SMEs and what are the barriers uh, that restrict SMEs to go for internationalization. You know that we have already discussed the difficulties that multinationals face in going international. So small and medium enterprises, they have even more difficulty in going international because they are smaller organization, they have less experience, they have less number of people, and that is why there are greater barriers to entry for an SME in the international market. So let's take a look what these barriers are. Number one, uh, this was a survey which was conducted by the OECD on 978 SMEs, and these are the different barriers which were found in the internationalization of SMEs. Uh, so the, the, the first barrier is not having enough working capital to finance exports because these are smaller organizations and you need a level of working capital up co um, uh, working capital required hota hai jo ki aapne apne business mein involved rakhna hai in organizations ke paas wo involved rakhne ke liye working capital nahi hota ki wo itni production kar sake ke export bhi kar sake the second barrier is inability to identify foreign business opportunities because these these organizations they have less exposure um, you know that multinationals they have a lot more resources to go for exposure they send their people to conferences they send their people for marketing they send their people for exploration uh, but because they have lesser resources it is difficult for them to identify the foreign business opportunities then they have limited information to locate and analyze market. The information uh, generate karna bhi jo hai, ye ek time taking or it requires effort and resources, connections, contacts and all these things. So they don't have enough information to locate and analyze markets. Uh, then they have inability to contact potential overseas customers. You know that in multinationals, the customers, they come to the multinationals themselves. They locate the multinationals themselves. But for the SMEs, it is difficult to uh, locate uh, potential overseas contacts for which uh, uh, they would be able to sell, sell their products for. So for them, it is difficult to contact the customers as well. Uh, another important barrier is that there, there is inability to obtain reliable foreign representation. Because you know these are smaller organizations, anybody would be really, really interested and excited to represent a multinational organization. I McDonald's ko represent Coca-Cola ko represent But if an organization is a small organization which doesn't have a well-known uh, established entity in the market, uh, people who are, who, any kind of person would be uh, hesitant to represent that organization, to be a part of that organization, particularly when you're talking about a foreign market, jiske andar wo logon ko jante bhi nahi hai, wo us company ko bhi nahi jante, aur uska koi apna track record bhi nahi hai. So isliye, uh, it is difficult for them to get foreign representation. Uh, then another barrier is the lack of managerial time to handle internationalization. Uh, so you, you see that small and medium enterprises, they have a smaller number of human resources. And in a small and medium enterprise, the uh, usual uh, type of organizational structure is that of informal authority. And uh, with informal authority, people are doing various different tasks uh, that belong to different functions of the organization. So um, informally, when you are working, one person is also looking at marketing, finance, 
کو بھی دیکھ رہا ہوگا شاید آر این ڈی کو بھی دیکھ رہا ہو سم ٹائمز اٹ از اونلی ون فاؤنڈر اور اونر ہو از لوکنگ آفٹر آل دا ڈسیزن میکنگ آف دا آف دی ایس ایم ای سو ایسی سچویشن میں جب آپ ملٹیپل رولس پرفارم کر رہے ہیں اور آپ انفارمل طریقے سے کام کر رہے ہیں وہاں پہ اٹ از آلویز ڈیفیکلٹ ٹو بیکاز پیپل آر آلریڈی اوور لوڈیڈ ود ورک سو دیر از لیس مینیجیریل ٹائم دیٹ کین بی اسپیسیفکلی ایلوکیٹڈ ان این ایس ایم ای فار انٹرنیشنلائزیشن ایم این ایز کے اندر تو آپ یہ کرتے ہیں کہ آپ ایک الگ ڈپارٹمنٹ جو ہے وہ ایلوکیٹ کر دیتے ہیں فار دیٹ پرٹیکولر پرپز بٹ بیکاز ایس ایم ایز کے اندر انفارملی کام ہو رہا ہوتا ہے اس لیے وہاں پہ اسپیسیفکلی اسٹرکچر طریقے سے مینیجیریل ٹائم ایلوکیٹ کرنا انٹرنیشنلائزیشن کے لیے یہ ایک بیریئر بن جاتا ہے دین انادر بیریئر از ان ٹرینڈ اور ناٹ اناف پرسنل ٹو گو انٹرنیشنل سو بیکاز دیر آر لیسر نمبر آف پیپل ان دیٹ آرگنائزیشن دیر از گریٹر پاسبلٹی دیٹ پیپل ہو آر کیپیبل اینڈ ٹرینڈ to go and work in the international market, explore the international market, manage the international market, uh, there is a lack of such capable and trained people. Uh, so that is also a barrier for internationalization. And uh, another barrier is difficulty in managing competitors' prices. You know that uh, economies of scale are provided when you are producing at a larger level. Uh, since SMEs, they cannot go up to that um, level which, is, uh, which can be achieved by multinationals, which are larger enterprises. In that situation, uh, when you achieve economies of scale, you are able to lower your prices, which the SMEs cannot do. So there is a difficulty for them to manage the competitors' prices. Uh, lack of home government assistance and incentives. If the home government is not providing sufficient incentives uh, and sufficient assistance to SMEs, it is very difficult for those SMEs to thrive in the local market as well as the international market. So the government of a particular country, that has to take a special initiative to uh, facilitate Uh, to provide assistance and to provide special incentives to those organizations which are SMEs uh, so that they can grow and they can go international and uh, contribute significantly to the economy of a country. Uh, so that is one, another barrier that home governments, they don't provide proper assistance and incentives. And... Uh, Then finally, excessive transportation and insurance costs. This is something which is another barrier to, uh, for SMEs in going international because uh, their costs are already higher. So when there are additional costs in transportation and insurance of goods that are being sold outside, that are being exported outside, that, uh, that increases the cost of uh, selling even more. Uh, so that is another barrier. Uh, the large enterprises, they can, you know, divide these overhead costs uh, over the uh, larger number of units being sent and exported abroad. But uh, because SMEs, they have smaller number of uh, uh, units being produced, it is difficult for them to divide these uh, transportation costs on those smaller number of units. So it becomes a barrier of, uh, uh, for entry uh, in internationalization for SMEs. So these, are, these were the 10 different barriers which were identified by the OECD survey uh, as playing important role in, uh, in, in the internationalization of SMEs.